it out. It's so creepy. Hi there! Welcome back to my channel, Get Away with Pam. So we're at the Castillo de San Marcos. This is the historic oldest masonry fort in the continental United States. And this is located on the western shore of Matanzas Bay and the city of St. Augustine, Florida. You know what's special about this Castillo de San Marcos? This is the oldest masonry fort in the U.S. and it has never been captured by enemy force. That is so cool. That's the first time I've seen that Lion's Bridge open up. I've been always wanting to see that and um, have a kiss because they said it's lucky to kiss when it's when the bridge open up this is a walk-in park the annual uh, pass is $45 up to four adults or $15 a person which is good for seven days This is the only entrance, guys. It's a door. Look at how thick. This is the guard rooms. Spanish soldiers live in town with their families unless on guard duty. During their 24-hour rotation, guards occupied this the soldier's order. life. La vida de los soldados 1700s We are going to explore the museum exhibits, uh, over 450 years of history in the exhibit rooms, the Florida's origins, fort designs and construction, everyday life in the fort and city, and the Castillo's preservation. It's a prison. This small cell acted also as a town jail. This wall contains sample of graffiti. Spanish soldiers most likely made these carvings of fleet of ships. Look up towards the top of the wall. Someone carved a Spanish message into the wall above your head, although we can't. Tell the text is old Spanish. The message itself makes no sense. Too many letters have been worn. Can you tell what it says? The 
This is the courtyard. Oh, this is a well. 1875 photo to reconstruct the remaining well inside. Wow. It's a big well. Beginning in the 1500s, many European powers, including Spain, France, and Great Britain, were fighting for control in the New World. With wealthy trade and territory at stake, how could they defend their colonial outposts from enemy attack, right? In 1565, Spain established St. Augustine to protect its Gulf Stream and anchor its claim to La Florida. By the early 1600s, British colonies threatened the city. So the Spanish built nine wooden forts before constructing the stone fort that stands today, which is preserved as part of Castillo de San Marcos. Coquinas. This is the layout structure of uh, the old St. Augustine. This is what they call the Spanish coat of arms. From its first stones to its later massive walls, Castillo de San Marcos was constructed between 1672 and 1695. It's showing here that the Castillo is constructed of coquina blocks cemented together by mortar. The stone was covered with several layers of plaster and painted with whitewash. So this is the coquina blocks. taking out territory so Spain controls Florida it was 1513 when Juan Ponce de Leon discovered Gulf Stream which is called river in the ocean this exerts tremendous influence on the colonization of North America fight possession and battle for colonies European powers continue to fight over North America until 1700s United States take control. In 1800s, American settlers seeking new lands pushed south into Florida. Weakened by the Napoleonic Wars in Europe, Spain's attention turns to keeping colonies in South Central America. In 1821, Spain sells Florida to United States.
Cannon and wolves. So Spain created an elaborate system of defenses to uh, protect its trade routes around the world and this Castillo played a key role and acted as a base of military um, force and supply. We are entering the powder room where they make and store the powders. These are their restrooms. Uh, they had a twice daily natural flushing system. Incoming tides filled the pit with sea water, and outgoing tides flushed waste out into the bay. Thank you.